In this demo, we're going to highlight the Kemp Loadmaster content switching capabilities in Azure. Uh, this environment is based on Unigo's hosted solution, leveraging the Azure platform as a service offering. And although Unigo's solution was the inspiration of this demo, it's not a complete representation of their story. Uh, it will, however, show the value that Kemp Loadmaster brings to these type of solutions. So let's jump right in. Uh, we're going to start off in the Azure portal. So here I have four web apps defined. Uh, now these are just generic web apps. Uh, they can be, you know, the idea is they can be a combination of, of anything. You know, you may have some on Braco, uh, .NET, maybe Java or, or a mobile component to your solution. Um, but if we go into one of these, you'll see we have, for instance, on the Colleges app, we have this unique URL, collegesapp.azurewebsites.net. Uh, now the, each of these other web apps have a, have a, a unique URL as well. Um, but the idea is we don't want to have, you know, you certainly could set up your navigation to, uh, you know, start navigating to all these different unique URLs, but that's, you know, really not the experience you want your customers or users to have. So you really want to have them all under a single URL. So let's look at the Kemp Loadmaster and see how we could bring it all together. So within the Kemp Loadmaster, we have two virtual services. Uh, the first one is, is simply a redirect. So we want to redirect all uh, port 80 you know, slash HTTP traffic to HTTPS. We want to have that all encrypted. So if I expand out the virtual service for our application, you'll see we have four sub virtual services. And these all correspond back to those web apps that we created in, in Azure. And we have the corresponding IP, public IP address for each of these web apps. I can go into uh, the settings of the virtual service. And here we have our SSL properties where we've enabled uh, SSL. And we're also going to re-encrypt. We want to have that encrypted traffic all the way to the back end. Uh, applied my certificate as well. Now, if I jump over to our demo environment, um, here's our demo environment. And again, it's uh, you know certainly not nearly as robust as the Unigo um, solution, but per certainly enough uh, for demo purposes here. So as I start navigating around, you'll see where my URL is www.kempdemo.com. And if I go to colleges, uh, I'm maintaining that uh, kempdemo.com, although I'm jumping to a different web application in Azure, uh, as well as scholarships. Now the test prep, I haven't set up the content matching rules uh, for this yet. Now, again, I certainly wouldn't set up my um, navigational item before I had all my content rules, but for demo purposes, I just wanted to uh, kind of show that. So if we go back to the Loadmaster, we can look at what we have in regards to these rules. So if I extend uh, down here rules and checking and go to content rules, I have two different types of rules. Uh, first, I have content matching rules, and then I have header modification rules. So these are gonna work together and, and, and I'll explain how. So to start off with our content matching rules, we have one for each of our web apps uh, that are deployed in Azure. And here we're just basically doing a simple match to say if we see anything uh, slash colleges or you know, we see anything slash scholarships or slash test prep, we want to um, set a match for that. Uh, so if I go in and modify these, again, just simple regular expression. So we can really do a lot of different things with this, right? It's not just going to be based on these virtual directories. You know, you can use all different kind of header fields. Uh, but here, uh, once again, we're just looking at the virtual directory slash colleges. Uh, we're going to ignore case, and then we're going to be setting a flag. And if I cancel this, you'll see here we have a unique flag set for each of our content matching rules. Now, these are going to work as, as triggers. So if I go down to the header modification rules, once again, I have one for each of the, the web apps that we've deployed in Azure. And if I look at the college replace, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the pattern um, of www.kempdemo.com and we're going to replace it with that unique URL that we were looking at before in, in Azure. So for in instance here, collegesapp.azurewebsites.net. But we're only going to do that when we see um, the flag set to three and we have one for each of these as well. So to apply these rules, 
first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the virtual service and under advanced properties uh, first off we've already enabled the content switching uh, so we don't need to worry about that here under our header modification we just need to apply that test prep rule so we already have our other three um, applied already so here I can just apply that and then if I go back down under the sub VS's I have my rules applied so if I go into colleges here you'll see I have my college match rule applied here and all I'm going to need to do is for my test prep I'm just going to need to apply that test prep match rule here and we'll go back and back and we're just going to let this revalidate and make sure everything is uh, healthy and now that it finished validating everything is still good we can now go back to our um, application here and now as we start clicking around we have colleges scholarships and now we have the test prep which is just actually pulled that whole application uh, into our solution um, by just applying those content rules so uh, again the idea is if this was a, an acquisition um, and you didn't want to recode it um, to whatever the rest of the site platform is built on um, you just basically use those content matching rules to bring this component into your solution okay so that about wraps up our demo